I remember that. So, this is Dr. Stone. This is episode 10. Um, all right, so I, I read a little bit of the synopsis, or, yeah, well, the synopsis of this episode, and um, I saw it again, again our, the character from last episode, I guess it's found dead. That's what they just told us in the synopsis. Why would you tell me this? How can you say that? The first biography I ever read, once I started going through science books, was Edison. Bruh, he's... <laughs> just simple addition. That is wild to think about. That's the first time electricity has been shown, or at least rather, light has been shown. Like that. That must feel really, yeah, look at that smile. He did great out there. He's neither good person or a bad person. They're at least shallow battle man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you actually do need him. We'll have him make a bogus report of, of Sakasa saying Senku's definitely dead. So many we can win. Hmm. Nicely put. I'm the most superficial man on earth. All I care about is whether or not something will benefit me. Oh my god. <laughs> the dusty old people of power aren't needed in this beautiful stone world. Let's make a new world together. There's something I'd like you to do as a skilled mentalist. Sen was the first to revive. This is where he created a drug to undo the petrification using the power of science. He's the man who revived me. I must kill my master! <laughs> well, when you put it like that... Oh shit! Oh shit! I mean, I knew he was gonna die, but... Oh! We already know who this is! No! He's not okay! That was messed up! Oh. Wow, dude. Holy shit. Not bad. You're a magician through and through. But we already know who it is. It's just those... Those big jockey dudes. Come on. Damn, dude, the way that they beat him down like that, that was wolf. They'd be, they'd be willing to kill Kohaku too, like, Jesus. <laughs> See, people, this is the fear that caused you to do crazy things. Several months ago, on the day that the village priestess Ruine came of age, oh, uh, it's one of these. The winner of the Grand Bowl was to wed her and become the... Okay. Alright. 
This is also how my father became the current village elder. <laughs> that is stupid strength right there. Well, not as bad though, because Tsukasa would just like completely top him out, like. What the fuck? Knock his ass. Next month. No, no, he's he's not dead. If Magma were to become the elder, it might be hard to even get the medicine to Rui. It's true, he might even prevent that from happening. It's also an opportunity. If a man from the Kingdom of Science defeats Magma and wins the grand bout, marries Rui, and becomes the elder, solves everything. Rounding up citizens for the Kingdom of Science, giving Rune Rune the uh, cure of all medicine. <laughs> Did she really just brought that question? I said she's but she's but, but she's graceful. Doesn't answer questions. But listening to one murmur to themselves is not against the rules. I already understand that Senku isn't evil. You can skip the explanation as usual. Which objective? Wow. What's got Chroman about? And this is true. Just leave the bodyguards, I would say. What's his plan? She's so cute. Oh, I felt that. I'm feeling it right now. I'm the genius sciencer. Um, not quite, but okay. Alright. Yeah, so he has to get to come in and investigate if he doesn't come back to normal soon. What the hell are you muttering about? I'm sure he went back to Sakasa. That bat bastard better not intend to tell Sakasa that Senku's alive. Damn, look at that archer, dude. Look at that woman, she's like, Pfft. we can leave him be. Ken really didn't have a millimeter interest in science. Millimeter, sorry. He never would have cooperated to begin with. He already made up his mind on whose side he was when I made electricity. But as a superficial man, he has a superficial way of saving face. Can you make it? Can you make cola in this world? Say absolutely. Yes! Even if no one else can. Was gone without a trace. This boy. Unless he gets his face beaten, then shit. <laughs>
All for a single ball. Hey, you know what? It's been a while, so. Yeah, what can I say? The show has done it again. In fact, it's it's kind of slowed down a little bit as far as the pacing and kind of focused on like some core stuff, like revolving around the whole incident with Gen Axe almost getting killed to the point of just everyone trying to train up because they don't want uh, that blonde, fully built dude to take over the village as the elder and really just cause a bad bind for Senku. Generally, that's kind of the end game there. And I'm finally glad that uh, Ginro and Kinro, is that how you pronounce it? Have finally signed up for it, so. Only time will tell, or at least next episode will tell what will happen next. I think this was such a crazy episode for just a new character just to jump in there, Gin, because he really is just kind of, when you see him like from the exterior side of things, he's a very like selfish guy, he didn't really want anything to do, if, if one dies and the other one lives it doesn't really matter to him, but in this case, Senku kind of summed it up pretty perfectly. The moment that Senku was able to make electricity, he made the decision, like, what do I want? <laughs> Can you make a bottle of cola? And Senku's like, I can. But can we talk about Tsukasa and his cave of absolute, like, build people? Everyone's so cut. I don't know, dude, like, I'm, I'm afraid. But yo, if Senku walks in there with guns, it's over. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm going to have to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a pretty great episode. I would still say that I really like the ending for the last episode because I was, that hit so hard. It was so good. Anyway, I'm just getting here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye, everyone.